hello everyone hope you are right in today's video i'm going to give you a quick update on my calicoin plant so few months ago i shared with you that how i took cuttings of my mother calicoin plant so this was the mother calicoin plant which i bought last year i think in the beginning of last year i don't exactly remember but it's been more than a year i have it and when i bought it of course it was blooming so beautifully with all these beautiful flowers all over it it wasn't that tall it was just this tall but it had lovely flowers all over it so i loved it and it bloomed for a few months and then of course the blooms died so i thought if i took the cuttings could i have more plants for free so i took 8 to 10 cuttings from all these branches and uh, the two cuttings i took they rooted really well they were growing but they were growing tall 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 and one of them produced one or two stalks of flowers and the other did not produce anything and they were just growing green leaves and they're getting taller and taller and taller basically getting leggy now this one has got quite leggy at two this is the mother plant and i keep here in this window this is my garden room window um this of course is not east facing or south facing so it doesn't get much sunlight you know sunlight is over there it only gets sunlight in the evening in summer days and because the winter days are not that long it's just like sun comes over here and then it sets down so there is not much sunlight available i try keeping it in different spots in the house like in south facing window east facing window but the problem is those windows are quite warm they have radiators um, beneath them and because they get sunlight for so long they get extra warm and i noticed the plant was like um, dehydrated all the time so i tried to keep all the cuttings in different spots and um, i tried different amounts of sunlight and the warmth as well but none of them produced any flowers they were just growing laggy they would just want me to water more often if they are in a warm spot otherwise there wasn't any difference so i decided to throw them all away and i have just got this mother plant now because it was looking beautiful with all those branches even it's a bit laggy and taller i still liked it so i thought i would keep it but just a couple of weeks ago it started producing all these lovely birds and now it's growing and flowers really beautiful flowers that's why we buy calicoin in first place because of all these lovely beautiful flowers otherwise you don't expect all house plants to produce flowers for you so i was happy at the end for it not to produce flowers and i like the branched structure uh, but it's producing flowers now so you can see it's not in a really big pot a small pot and it's doing okay i noticed there is some infestation here bug infestation so i do need to clean it i think otherwise it's looking nice and healthy so i'm quite happy that at last it decided to bloom again the blooms are not as prolific as they were in first place but still it's looking beautiful so i'm quite happy with it so what i can do now that once it's done blooming again i think i would just drop it down again and i think i will have more branches and maybe another set of blooms sometimes next year so i hope you enjoyed watching this quick update on my calicoi plant and i just want to show you what's going on outside and when i went outside this morning it was all frosty and snowy so we have had another episode of snow this winter season the first one was in november and it was quite thick but it only lasted for a few hours this one is not as thick and it happened yesterday and it happened today you can see it's a thin layer of snow 
and the garden is looking so beautiful with all that snow and ice and i tidied up the garden during the holidays so i still need to do some pruning on the branches but i tidied up most of this stuff the garden has grown quite a lot during first year of the gardening and if you haven't checked out my transformation video so far where i showed how i started this garden and how much i have achieved during the first year please check it out and here i want to show you all these beautiful cyclamens they are flowering under the snow cover so i'm really loving these cyclamens they were already in this garden so i'm really thankful for whoever planted them here so i hope you enjoyed watching this update please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye